What up, what up, Wimbo is here. And recently I was working in Unreal Engine for Fortnite and I came across this error whenever I was importing this FPS sequence into UEFN. So to give a recap on what exactly I was doing, I'm inside of Cinema 4D right now. And if I hit play, you can see that I have these comic books. They were going around in a circle. This is gonna be for a boss fight. It's gonna be a part of the shield that's gonna be shielding them there. And I exported this out as an FBX. And then once I brought it inside of UEFN, I got this error. And so I was able to figure it out. So let me show you exactly what I did step-by-step step to be able to get the materials to work with this sequence. So I have a blank scene inside of UEFN right now, but this will also work with Unreal Engine as well. So I'm gonna take an FBX and drag it right here into my content browser. So I have it on my second screen. I'm just gonna drag it down here into the blank area. And this is gonna bring up my FBX import options of which everything should already be as it should be. Yeah, I'm gonna import the exported time. And so I'm just gonna click import all. And if you notice down here in the lower right hand corner, this is where we're getting our air, saying that our material will not work with this skeletal mesh. And so as soon as this is done importing, it has about 32 meshes to import. I'm going to show you exactly what it's talking about. Okay, so it's done now. It gave us this message log saying that we have all these errors in here. And if I come down here, I'm going to actually close this out. If I come down here into my content browser, you can see it brought over our materials. So I have my comic book inside there. Now my other material all the way down here as the comic book cover. But if you look at these meshes individually, you can see that they all just have that default on. So if I double click on this one right here, just one of these meshes, you can see that it has the material attached, but if I scroll around it, it doesn't have anything there. It just has that default checkerboard pattern there, which means that the material is not on there. So how I figured out how to get this to work is I'm gonna start with the cover. I'm gonna come all the way down here and I'm gonna to come to my material, double click this, and then I'm gonna extrude this a little bit larger, the scroll in here, and I'm gonna click on this right here. Now we have this clicked right here, over here in the details panel. If I scroll all the way down here to the bottom, to where under usage, you can see that we have all these attributes for these different parameters. And so the one that we want that for this particular instant is gonna be skeletal mesh. So if I click on this and turn this on, and now if I click on save, if I minimize this and come over here, now you can see it's on our mesh there. So if I go back all the way up to the top to that mesh again, double click on it. Now we can see that it actually has the cover on the front and back, but it's not two sided. So of course, if you come through here and just come down here again, where it says two sided, select this, hit save. If I come back over, now it's two sided as it should be. So you would do the same thing for the inside cover there as well. So if I minimize this, come into my inside cover, same thing, make sure you have this selected right here come over here into my details panel and I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom and I'm going to use skeletal mesh but notice that we have it for a lot of these parameters as well so if you ever have this instance come up for anything on here whether you're using like sprites or geometry cache and your materials are not coming over make sure you try this first and see if this is going to work but let's go back up here to skeletal mesh click on this I'm going to make it double-sided click on save now if I look at my cover now we have the inside of our cover there as well. So this is just a quick tip on how to fix it if you're getting that air inside of Unreal Engine 5 or inside of UEFN. So hopefully this tip helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you subscribe to the channel as usual. It helps out with the algorithm and it helps me grow the channel. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. i see you soon. Take care.